made their way out from deep within perennial harvest, just as Solomon finished up his speech. Thankfully, we can dispense with the formalities from here on out. Solomon pulled a glass vial from his pocket. We've got to stop him. In one smooth motion, he downed its contents. Uh -oh, a triumphant the break smile dancing. grew across Solomon's lips. No! I guess that's it. We lost. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh, did she switch the contents? Do a little switcheroo? Look, Beck elbowed Luca. Remember when I had the vial behind my back? I thought she was doing something to it, but I'm like, she doesn't have another vial, does she? I might have tweaked his wonder potion with a little... Oh. We don't want him to die, right? Mmm, we have so many more endings, guys. This is, this, this is crazy. With a I little might have tweaked junk. his wonder potion with a little junk. Can't wait to see the look on his face when he realizes he drank his own cigar ash. How did ashes get into the vial? It was pretty easy to mess with the vial when it was behind my back. Oh, that's sneaky. Well, it's a bad habit anyways. <sighs> but I always said bad habits are like 50 yard field goals. Huh? Hard to kick. Me too, Luca. <laughs> you can all call me Sharper Valentine. His body and face began to contort oh, it still did it. It and still expand worked? as he disappeared into a belching green mist. Did it still work? <laughs> oh, wow. <gasps> well, that's one way to kick a bad habit. Oh, snap! As the last of what was once Sharper Valentine wafted into the air, the crowd began to disperse, still numb from what they had just observed. Wow. Sharper Valentine was gone for good. His end would be a new beginning for Beacon Pines. Mm. A new chance to let go of the things they had lost and grab hold of a new future. Yep. The end. That sounds like a good ending. No? Well, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a bit. Right. Horrifying. I think we did good. If that feels to you like a good note to end on, I won't stand in your way. Hey. But that makes me uncomfortable, even though I enjoyed it. So it sounds like we are back at it. <laughs> I enjoyed that ending. She was like, hey, if, if you, I can't knock you if you like it. You're right. I enjoyed it. Malice. I might have tweaked his wonder potion with a little malice. Right? Malice? The whiskey from his office. Yep. Dude had an unfinished glass on his desk. Figured his grow juice could use a little hair of the dog. You can all call me Sharper Valentine. His body and face began to contort and expand as he disappeared into I a love belching to see him break dance into a new form. Hey, 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 hey. Oh! Now that's what I call 80 proof whiskey. Dang, dude. <laughs> the crowd gazed in stunned silence at the now empty stage. Right? What do you do? Was that planned? It looked like it was, you know, confetti was planned. Quiet was broken when William Kerr sprinted off stage and into the distance. <laughs> he was never seen around Beacon Pines or anywhere else for that matter again. Awesome. Watching the silhouette of Kerr disappear over the horizon, Luca began to laugh. First, a low chuckle that became uncontrolled, heaving laughter. Okay, Luke, you're scaring me. Through his tears, he was vaguely aware that the crowd had begun to laugh with him. The end. Oh, I like that one. That was unexpected. Very. Perhaps a bit of an absurd ending for my taste, but was it? who am I to say? I think it was great. I'm only writing the damn thing. Okay, all right.